Governance in Namibia is divided into three tiers with separate spheres of responsibility, central, regional and local. The regional councils are responsible for specified service delivery in rural areas and local authorities are responsible for service delivery in urban areas. The decentralization enabling act number 33 of 2000 is the most important legislation providing for the decentralization policy. The aim of decentralization in Namibia is to ensure economic, cultural and social development to provide people at grassroots level with the opportunity to participate in decision making and to extend democracy as a right based on national ideals and values. But to what extent are services decentralized in Omaheke region? Dean says that it's not dimension. The government is a problem. So pay number in as the PS. And then as director. Ele sini ele se mensa da da iver kandu. Iri iri kos va dele iso rasul. Ya kan uor kuma da ikos es frot. Es next ka break ni ya iri uri mo garas tu hamak. No what is that? The city government is a food. Es person va dar ver. Yeah. Es van dienste es daso es van de mensa. Es de mensa se problema. Eplei iso be di No ek pak ek pas my tira op. Self Ik zoek hulp om misschien aan een plek te krijgen of ik weet niet hoe ik moet maken. Police, police is not coming. If there is a problem, if there is a problem here, they take time to arrive. Wat ons nodig hebben in Amino City is de beheersing en de kracht. Als blij bij de kant op ver genoeg wat in een reservoir, waar ons maar je sikkel moet water wat ons paar jaar al sikkel moet water wat ons die water heet om te drinken. One day I went to the Ministry of Limba, where the person who has to come there himself, he doesn't work and we don't have the transport money and stuff like that. So I thought maybe I can just come to Roba Business and then ask it for him or something. And then they told me apparently, no, we should just bring the person himself, he must be there, go talk to the councillor and the councillor have to find the transport for the person to come there. The councillor also took long for that matter. So, uh, uh, no. Water problems like now, the, can, the cans and all those things are empty. I can say that the water is also water, but the water is 200 rand, but the water is 300 rand. I can say that the water is my ma and my school sister are led there with this. I can say that the water is not a police. I am going to Russia. I am going to go to Ifana. I am going to go to Ifana. I am going to go to if you want to go to the clinic, mm. is it easy to get help there? Not so easy, because uh, while the people are sitting, the nurses are uh, the nurses are going for lunch, and some some people they they are sitting while the the people are very sick. The nurses are just going. Maybe the nine ministers to reduce those so many people involved into the process of the government. That way it will also make things easier for us. Mr. Um, Yambo, the, the, the fact that you have um, services brought closer to the people, or the fact that you have a decentralization policy is so people have um, easy access to services that are also effective and efficient, but you still find complaints of community members who, who went to, to a clinic, for example, looking for a particular service, but that service was not rendered because either there was no nurse or, or there was no ambulance and so forth. In terms of health services, are the, 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 the services that are supposed to be brought closer to the people, are they efficient, are they effective, or is there more that needs to be done? Okay, currently we can say we have uh, almost... Uh, 13 clinic in our region and one health center. Mm -hmm. And out of this, we have uh, staff there, but currently they are not enough for us to say we are really doing a, a efficient and effective yeah. service.
or provide the effective and the efficient service currently. And uh, we can say, uh, if we happen to have more staff, as you see now, the Ministry of Health is busy with the restructuring process and it might be finalized soon. I hope we will improve more. Like uh, at the clinic level, we're supposed to have an outreach service which is coming specific from that specific clinic mm -hmm. and do provide service for outreach at that surrounding of the clinics. Mm -hmm. If we happen to have more staff and more driver, I hope efficiency and the effective service will be provided to the public at large. You know that we are living in a, our community, especially the farmers' community, are very poor. So we have to bring the service closer to them. That is the reason behind. In this whereby you do have an office like this representing, let's say we do have two districts. Mm -hmm. um, let's say the one for Hobabes, yes. this one representing the whole commercial area, okay. including avenues. And uh, whereby we do have also an office within the United Bell, which is falls under Kobabe State Bell office. Mm -hmm. And then we have the second district, which is now the Epokiro office, whereby the area like Oshinene, Ritfondain, um, ASAP falls mm -hmm. under that office. And then on the other hand, also we do have our visit mm -hmm. to the farmers' community during our farm inspection, during the <laughs> the shows during the information days. So it's whereby we get in touch with the farmers. Ministry of Jeta Equality and Child Welfare in our Hague region. We have uh, the Directorate of Gender, mm. Community Empowerment and uh, Child Welfare Services. So all these functions are not decentralized. So meaning that what we have to do here, we have to obtain approval from the Foreign Secretary based in Windhoek. Because we have a regional office here in Kobabesh for the Ministry of Gender, where all the, all the units are. And apart from that, we have also other offices in the constituencies. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's, 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 it's much better. But should the function have been decentralized, it should have been much, much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah.